So I'm headed to the supermarket. I am not going with just vibes. I have a budget, I have a menu, and I am ready. I am headed to Stu Leonard's, my favorite, favorite. Let me tell you something. I swear they have like three grandmas and two aunties in the back raising the cows, raising the chicken. They're milking the cows. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't know what type of magic they have going on in the back, but Stu Leonard? <laughs> now, Stu Leonard's is the perfect place you want to go to around the holidays. They have these bomb apple cider donuts. They have a lot of specialty items. Their cheese is fresh. Their meat is fresh. It's so good, especially if you're hosting a Friendsgiving, if you're hosting family, you want prime cuts of beef. You see, I have no self-control. So I try not to go in there too often. And when I do go, I go in there with a purpose or else things just, they get out of control. So I finally made it. I'm out here. I, I'm so excited. Um, I have a strict budget, of course, and um, I am here. We are going to pick up some meat. I am going to get some lamb, of course, like I said, some steak. Um, all the quality meat you want to get when you're entertaining, this is your place. And I typically only come here um, during the holidays because it's kind of pricey. But nonetheless, let's see what they got. Now, one of the things that I do love about Stu Leonard's is that they have a bakery on the premises and they bake everything fresh. Their food is fresh. Oh my God, the donuts. Is it the donuts? They have freshly prepared donuts. Look at these rainbow donuts, they're gorgeous. I don't like to eat food that's out, so I don't typically choose those. They got your pumpkins, seasonal items. They have freshly baked bread, as you can see, look at the, look at the bakery. I told you everything is fresh here. I know I said I was coming here with a list and I'm trying to be disciplined, but come on, come on. You know you gotta toss in a little bit of vibes here and there. In the meat aisle and I'm checking out some of the ribeyes, they're pretty good. Look at this thick cut beef loin porterhouse. Look at how big it is. There's this one here as well. They have these ribeyes. They're pretty good as well. So they have a butcher counter here where you can order like any cut of steak that you want, any type of beef that you want. And really and truly, I am done. I picked up some lamb chops. I got um, some short ribs. I am gonna braise those. It's gonna be so good. Wait and see.
And now I'm over here to the chicken. I think I'm gonna pick up some Cornish hens and we'll see what we can do with that. All right, guys, so this is our finished product. We got the mashed potatoes, the veggies, the cornbread. We got everything going on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for some more delicious recipes. So I walked away for one quick second and in that moment, someone stole my shopping cart. Can you believe that? I had to roll up on somebody and be like, um, excuse me, sir. I think you have my shopping cart. Come on. So I'm right over here at the seafood counter. They got lots of fresh seafood right up here. These look so good. I'm so tempted to get one. The salmon steaks are $8.99 a pound. Um, there's cod filet. What to get? Decisions, decisions. I don't know what to get. Um, these lobster tails now look they done got me into trouble another thing that I do like is that they have fresh seafood they have fresh lobster meat this is hand-picked lobster meat this is good to use in like a lobster mac and cheese or if you're gonna make a uh, lobster rolls these are pretty good their deli counter as you can see it's nice and fresh everything is always fresh here look at their cheese counter this is like a cheese lover's dream so here's all the other cheese look at this <laughs> you know what i'm about to say look at this freshly prepared hot jamaican beef patties Mm, they look kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. They do look good. They even got the cocktail ones over with a golden crust, bright. Mm. Okay. The crust of it actually does look a little authentic. I wonder what it tastes like. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna be willing to take a chance on it. But let me see. How much is it? How much is this? Oh, they're $7.99. So here's their pizza counter. Listen, when I tell you everything is made fresh in here, this is why I love it. Look at the oven. They're baking the pizza as we speak. Mrs. Leonard's Kitchen. You see, this is why I don't know how to act when I come here. This is why. I'm always overstimulated. I want to buy everything. Everything looks so delicious. Everything looks so good. And their prepared meals are actually really good. I've tried several of them. They're actually really, really good. Let me show you what they got here. Honey barbecue wings. There's crispy wings. Sweet chili wings. There's chunky guacamole. There's even tomatoes for bruschetta fried shrimp there's coconut shrimp look at all of these they're so good they even have these prepared roasted potatoes and these are actually pretty good if you're looking to make like a quick dinner in the middle of the week and you want your sides already prepared they have macaroni and cheese balls they have cream spinach um, here's some roasted butternut squash with sage. Here's some fresh roasted vegetables. Prepared food, it's actually really good. Can I get six pieces of the uh, crispy wings? Yes, please. Sushi counter, they make sushi fresh on the premises. And let me tell you, I tried it and it actually is really good. These are their craft beers. It's actually really good. You're probably gonna get tired of me saying it's actually really good, but it really is good. It really is. I'm not gonna lie. I would not lie. It's pretty good.
so I did get everything I said I was gonna get. I, I, I did. I got the meat that I wanted to get. I got the uh, the juice. I got the donuts. I secured the donuts. Secured. I got them right beside me. Um, why did I just spend one hundred and seventy six dollars? You see, I can't even blame the kids at this point. I can't even blame the kids. And I still have shopping to do.